Hey guys, what's going on? Gary Addison at torpedopot.com and this is our kale. Don't let the snow fool you. It's gonna bounce back and be so beautiful. And so I wanna pick some because I need to pick me some uh, greens. I have about, maybe about 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm about 18 kale plants in total, planters in total. And when I need, I just come out, get what I need, and go back in. See, sometimes your body knows that you're deficient. And that's when you have to go and get yourself some fresh, fresh produce. And this allows you to have that fresh produce with you at all times. You need to have these vitamins. That's how crucial this is. So let's go through it again and we'll start dealing with this and pulling it out. So I've got approximately, um, it's about 18 kale planters. I've only cut up this small section. I've got obviously more than what I need. I have more kale than I need. And let's take a look at this kale and see how beautiful it is. I'm gonna cut this off. So I think you'll love this. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Gorgeous. Good quality food growing in the wintertime. Now, remember I told you a lot of times use the 3-12-12 formula of nitrogen, um, um, potassium and phosphorus and potassium. Well, for the leafy vegetables, you don't need to use much of anything at all. As a matter of fact, when they go through the winter months, they still grow because your winter isn't just pure abrasive winter. It bounces back. And when it bounces back, the plant regains itself with the soil and then it starts to really take off because everything warms up rather. And so that's what makes it so fantastic. But good, healthy, gorgeous, beautiful food. So I brought this out because I was putting on some uh, quinoa and I wanted to throw some vegetables in there to give it that vegetable flavor. And uh, this is what I want, something natural to do that. And that's why I chose the Scottish kale and um, I chose the, uh, the other kale so we can actually do that. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com where we make self-growing planters. Learn to grow your own food. Be responsible for yourself. Take care of yourself. You owe it to yourself to eat healthy food. One planter? Oh, come on, seriously? I'll go in and mix it with some grains and stuff like that? I can take care of myself. Godspeed. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.